what's up, y'all? I'm trying to do this uh, weed farm or whatever. Full weed farm, solo. I think I'm in an invite only right now. <clears throat> This one, the when you get paid more money, it's pretty hard to do by yourself. I mean, you can do it, but it's a lot easier if you have somebody to help you. I usually don't do it unless I got somebody to help me, because I'll get about three out of four vehicles, and by the time I get to like the last one, there's like fucking five minutes left. So, I usually just do these when I'm doing it by myself. Uh, a lot of times in full lobby, it's not too bad either. Just kind of get a feel for the lobby before you do it. Like, make or break this situation with it though. If you're in a lobby, you see like, all these people dying and shit, it's probably not a good one to try and do it in. But, you'll figure it out over time. So, I'm going to do this one. <clears throat> See if it gives me three or four vehicles. I hope it's not the damn the dump trucks or whatever. The UPS trucks. Those things are so damn slow. All right, cool. I got the planes. Yeah, the suppressor definitely helps too. If you got an arcade, you can do all this stuff from the arcade, but whenever you start the sales mission, you won't be starting it. You'll be starting it from the arcade, not the MC business or whatever itself, which kind of can screw you over if you're trying to do like a wholesale public lobby or not, by or whatever, because that's time you got to waste driving to the location. Like you would have to come all the way out here from an arcade instead of just, you know, right down the street, otherwise. All right, well, I'm gonna shut up for now and uh, get this loud background noise out your ear for a minute. Actually, I'm gonna plot out my flight. I'm gonna start, I usually try to make a circle to where the last one's close by me. So, I'm gonna go right. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing with the like planes and uh, helicopters and stuff. Most of the time I'll tell you you gotta fly kind of low. Otherwise the police will get on you. So always try and do that because it's all having to get rid of the police is, is just a whole other inconvenience while you're trying to do it. It just kills time. It's not hard to do or anything. It just takes time away from doing this so I was trying to fly low and it's, except for when I get kind of by the mountains it doesn't really seem to uh, go off too much fuck I just say something else I forgot and the wind kind of helps pick it up a little bit too especially the helicopters so the planes kind of oh shit I'm making it do all that weird shit, but if you had a helicopter, it'd just be like pushing you right over right now. You said the thing ain't going off, but it's because I'm by this mountain. But as soon as I get away from it, it'll start chirping again. Shit. There we 
This is pretty much it. I like this one and the one with the little boats, the dinghies. Like on those are the best. Uh, the other ones are those box trucks or whatever. I don't really care for that one too much. They're just a lot of times they're so damn slow and they'll make you go up these routes where you have to go up these crazy mountains or hills and the damn thing will barely be making it up there and once or twice it wouldn't <laughs> I had to hit it with the up and atomizer from the back and bump it up a little bit what the fuck but also if when you first start the mission and say you get you're like me and you don't like the box truck ones or whatever and but that's the mission it gives you if you just I'm playing on a PlayStation so I, I don't know about Xbox but I don't know PS4 and 5 if you go to like your main menu or whatever on the PlayStation like the dashboard and close the game out and then just start everything back up you could try it again like you gotta wait for everything to load back up so that kind of sucks but chances are when you load it back up and go to reload the mission uh, you should still have all your inventory or whatever and It'll probably give you a different mission. I do that from time to time. <laughs> or even like, I ain't gonna cap, I kinda, I guess you could say cheat a little bit or whatever, but say I'm doing this in a, fu in a full lobby or griefers or whatever. Like a lot of times I'll do these things and it'll be like the last trip you're making. Uh, damn oppressor or something. Come out of nowhere and fuck you up. Well, shit like that happens. Oh, fuck. Or if I crash through the plane into the water on accident like a dickhead, I'll do like I said with the mission. I'll go to the dashboard or whatever on PlayStation and close the game out before it can autosave. And then that way when it loads back up, yeah, I have to do the whole mission over again, but I'll wouldn't have lost anything. You know what I mean? It, supposedly you could use that little trick for all kinds of shit. Like I heard you could do it with the... Uh, I mean, it makes sense it will work too, but... The wheel of the casino. Like, if you want to win a prize ride or whatever every week. Supposedly, you could just... Spin that bitch until you win it if you keep closing the game on time before it can save. Which I, I don't know, you probably gotta be pretty damn fast to do that, but. I don't know, it, it definitely comes in handy and saves my ass. When I'm doing these things in a full lobby and somebody tries to fuck me up and it's a lot of money, this ain't too bad. But once you start getting like, oh shit. Once you start getting uh, like a couple warehouses with a nightclub storage and shit to sell, or um, what's that shit called? I don't. Know. Is it a bunker? Yeah. Wait. This fucking bunker. The place that does the research and shit for your weapons and all that, I'm pretty sure it's a damn bunker. That shit, you get a full, full warehouse or whatever of that stuff to sell, 
That's a lot of money to be losing to somebody to close that shit up. I, I ain't trying to take that out because I'm fucking closing. Right. I'm on the way back. I didn't look at the timer when I started. It was probably like 25, 28 minutes maybe. Maybe 30, I don't fucking know. And now I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to crash kind of close. That was pretty damn good. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch don't know how to take a compliment, huh? Usually I do that, I'll jump out and it don't fucking blow up. And I can get away from it. Instead of having to run like I just did. All right, let's check this little route out. Sometimes you get the same route on one or two of them. Uh, uh, this motherfucker here. Oh, all right. Same shit again, I guess. Went home, boys. These types of missions are good for uh, people kind of starting out. I mean, individually, I guess when you're starting out, they're good, but like later on when you can start stacking up, you know, multiple businesses and stuff to do with, because it's like, if I do this, I think it said I was going to get like 200,000 or something for completing this. And it's not like a whole, whole lot for say a half hour, 20 minutes worth of playing. Because then you got to wait that for it to stock back up and shit before you can do it again even, you know what I mean? And if you're stealing the shit, it takes even longer. I usually just pay for it if I can because I like, I, try, I use these things as almost like a passive income. Like I'm doing this right now, I'm kind of like purging a couple businesses because they're kind of full warehouses and I have security, but after you just leave them sit there for long, long enough and they're full, you'll get robbed or raided or whatever and you gotta just take time out of whatever you're doing to go deal with that shit and take a loss on some of your products so what I do is like, right, like I said right now I'm kind of purging everything and I'm taking a break from I'm grinding the agency VIP contracts this, this week are double money, so they're paying out two million. So I'm just putting most of my time into that. But once I start seeing my shit's getting robbed or raided or something, I'll go to all my places, empty them all out like I'm doing now, and then I'll say go back to the agency, do a VIP contract real quick, and when that's done. I'll uh, supply, supply my MC businesses and then I'll do another AI uh, VIP contract and then I'm done with that. You know, I'll just keep checking on the shit and when I'm a CEO, like when, I, when I'm a CEO, whenever I'm around my warehouse for the uh, office or whatever, I'll stop in there and I'll get a thing of special cargo for 7,500. And it's, it's kind of slow because I'm just getting one at a time. But I think those are also the most expensive ones because when you start getting like three at a time and shit, it's not, it's not worth as much when you go to sell it. Plus, dude, I'm just paying 
I'm paying for it, so I don't have to go really do anything. All I have to do is stop by there, and they take care of the rest, and I can go back to doing my contract missions. And usually by the time I'm doing the the um, last part of it, don't fuck with Dre or whatever, uh, all my MC businesses and warehouses and shit will be full, and I can go do this during the cool down time of the uh, contract thing. That's the idea anyway. talking so damn much I wasn't even really paying attention while I was flying. Well <laughs> I just got done smoking too hence why I'm playing oh fuck playing uh weed farm thing right now. Where the fuck am I going? Damn. Grab the fuck out of the line. It's taking forever, seems like. It's kind of crazy too is that smoke shit they use for this, <laughs> like the flares or whatever you want to call it, for these things and the smugglers run and all that shit, like the thick colored smoke, you can get that for your presser at Mark II. It's like a countermeasure or something they call it. Or you can get flares to shoot out or these other things that kind of like hit the missile or whatever or throw it off track, whatever. The countermeasures, that bitch is look, I mean, the, um, the smoke shit looks cool because you can get all different colors. It looks cool as shit when they're flying through the air and they press L5. As far as countermeasures, I feel I think it does the opposite. <laughs> Just thinking about it, flying through the fucking city, the sky, it's all you know, like white, blue, light colored shit. And then here comes this streak of red blasting through the fucking sky. You can be like, oh damn. Or if you're on the presser and you see that shit, you can go just fucking catch up to him and blast their ass. 
just kind of, I feel like it lets people know where you're at. I used to have Every time I'd use it, it was like, it was like flying a fucking sign. It's like, hey, I want smoke or some shit. <laughs> Everybody come out of your ass. I got rid of that bit. I got a damn, um, the flares or whatever. Hey, ah, fuck out of here. Watch this blow up on me again. I didn't even do it how I usually do the last time. Look. Dead man. It's on the clock, five stops, what's the definitely a lot better, you got people helping you, it's a lot faster. More ideal too, if you got multiple MC businesses that are all being supplied in, around the same time and shit. Because then once one's ready to go, they're all ready to fucking pop off, you know what I mean? You can just knock them out, boom, boom, boom. And if you got two people, most of the time, you only get three to four vehicles, delivery vehicles, so that's literally one and a half, two vehicles max. Now if you got four people, it's fucking literally one a piece at the most. Everybody makes a little bit of money. And if you got a crew, y'all could rotate or whatever, you know what I mean? Make a bunch of money. You got a lot, everything, heist and shit. There's a thumbnail right there, ain't it? Damn, it was right down to the fucking sunset. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait till the GTA 6 comes out, though, man. But. Sick-ass colors and shit, too. What? It's like fucking Sherbert town, bitch. Mango berry fucking blast. <laughs> it's that sunset Sherbert fucking church right there, damn it. If you know, you know shit. <laughs> Oh 
Oh shit, trees. A lot of to see these little cracks in the mountain too. I don't know if you want to call it a crack, but it's so if you're having trouble flying over the mountains with the radar thing going off, a lot of times on the way to the marker like this thing is, you can if you keep an eye out, you'll see a, uh, like a trail where the mountains kind of cut out a little bit and you can kind of slide in between that without setting the thing off. You know, like, your controller starts vibrating when you're playing, it's probably, it's probably starting to a little too high. I'm just used to flying a load of every damn thing, so that's why I do it like this. I'm just used to that. I used to do it fucking opposite. Just all little trees and phone poles she might run into, but I, I got a little bit more uh, comfortable flying and shit. Stupid shit. Pretty stupid, but confident. I don't know. Man, I'm crazy out there. That'd be some shit, huh? Talking all that shit then. Thunk. All right, that's a wrap, ladies and gents. See it. 21. Alright, time traveling back with the bastard. Out. Till next time.